G'day, this is Christopher from BNA, and today we're looking at the ice dot crash sensor, which sends a text message to emergency contacts if you have an accident. Now, I've already done the first task of pairing this up to the iPhone, and when going for a ride, then the first step is actually just to connect it to the ice dot once it's been located. So it's connecting up now. I'll press go, and now it's running, which means that the iPhone is ready to to detect any movement of the ice dot or any crashes. So let's have a look and see what happens. This is an old helmet, it needs to be destroyed, and off it goes. So this has immediately come through to the iPhone, and now it's got a countdown. I have to react and turn this off. If I don't react in time, it means something's happened. A text message is sent over to my emergency contact. So I'll take that off. Okay. Next step is to start again, we'll do a heavier test, is just to connect it up again. So it's connected, scrolling through the screen, let's have a look. So we'll go for a big one this time. Okay, that's taken a bit of a hit. What's happened here? Okay, here comes the message again, I have to now turn that off. Now we'll try and do a soft touch and see at which point it stops. So, interesting thing about the helmet, we can see it's actually taken a bit of a bit of a toll. The helmet's all cracked through right now. The ice dot sensor is still intact. So I'm connecting this back up there and we'll try and go for a soft touch and see at which point it might not record anymore. So a soft touch. So there's no impact from that small touch, so it means that there is a level of sensitivity built in. If you hit a small branch, which is not going to take you out, so let's have another look. Okay, so that impact has now set off the alarm. Okay, that's the ice dot crash sensor for you.